This tutorial is to teach you about OneDrive, which is the Office 365 comparison to um, Google Drive. So essentially, it's the place where all of your um, files and folders are saved, regardless of whether they're PowerPoint, Excel, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so in order to access OneDrive, you need to log into Office 365, either by visiting the WCPS website and um, getting the link there or by searching Office 365 login and logging in there with your username and password. Um, you will either be able to access um, OneDrive from the main screen. If yours looks like this, you would just click OneDrive or you can click the grid box in the top left hand corner and select OneDrive from there. So when you get to your OneDrive, it's basically, again, any of you that are familiar with Google Drive, it looks almost exactly like Google Drive. But it is the place, the filing cabinet, if you will, for all of your documents. So anything that you have created um, on Office 365 online is saved here. Okay, you can see your files. You can view it by recent. You can also see shared with me. So this would be where anybody has shared um, any documents with you. You could access them there. And then your groups. If any of your groups have um, files associated with them, you could see those here as well. Um, it's really easy to organize your files. So right now, I just kind of have them all together. Um, but there's a variety of things that I can do to organize them. So if I click on these three little dots, it's going to give me the option to open in Word online, open in Word, which would be your desktop version, to share it with someone, to get the link to share. Again, I can't say how much this looks like Google Drive. It's virtually the same. You can download a copy, delete it, move it, copy it, rename it. You can see the um, history of when the edits were made and then any other details about it. Um, here you can see that these have been only shared with me so if I just click on that I can very easily share these documents with other people. Um, it comes up and it will allow me to enter the um, name of the person that I want to share it with or to get the link and, and send someone the link and have them access it that way. I'm not sure why it's running so slow but um, it looks like what we talked about um, in the other tutorials. So again invite someone, get the link and then this tells you who it's shared with and what um, capabilities they have. If I want to organize my files a little bit into folders, all I do is, um, wait, first of all, so I'm clicked on this document, that's why it looks like this up here. When I unclick that, now I have new. So I want to create a new folder. I'm going to call this files for tutorials. And then um, you will see the folder here. And now I can very easily select any of the documents that were for um, the files for tutorials and I can literally just drag them right into that folder and so now they are all here in the folder. Um, I would envision organizing this much like Google Drive for those of you that are familiar with it um, but you could really you know organize it in any way that makes sense for you. So again um, OneDrive is the place where all of your Office 365 um, documents are kind of housed or like a filing cabinet I think is a good way to think about it. Um, but this is a place where you can access any documents that you have created or that have been shared with you. So that's the basic overdrive of OneDrive and Office 365. Thank you.